hi in, in front of me is a compact V6000 system board or motherboard for a notebook um, I got this motherboard and I wanted to test first before I install it in the uh, chassis be before I close up everything so actually I can test this separately all all I may have is a good um, memory um, of course a good CPU this system board the 431384-001 is using a AMD uh, Turian we need uh, the DC uh, um, in circuit with the uh, wires some other boards don't need a separate DC inlet so but this time the V6000 has a separate uh, DC in circuit and al also I may need uh, the power switch uh, circuit as well Span on that video chip but um, on my part I always use thermal paste as well as the thermal pad because some thermal pad are already worn out so the distance uh, there's there's a gap a small gap in between the, uh, and um, that gap causes heat to build up on the video chip so I always put a thermal paste even if you I'm you're using a uh, um, using a thermal pad so okay so let me assemble the EPU fan assembly So I may need the power so actually this part is for the USB uh, circuit but uh, let's just uh, put it anyway okay ouch
that's a that's a good sign that the motherboard is powering up. Um, I still have to know if this motherboard posts. So earlier I didn't put in the keyboard. So I think the next step is to put in the keyboard so that I can go uh, to the BIOS setup. So so I just powered down the motherboard. I mean the the system board and now uh, my next objective is to put in the keyboard um, before I put the keyboard I, I have to put an insulation so that uh, the metal part of the keyboard will not touch any component of the motherboard I'm using this uh, pink um, anti-static uh, cushion between the keyboard and the system board I, I just so I just uh, put in the keyboard I properly uh, connected to the receptacle and I put some more insulation so that uh, it will not hit the, I mean I will not touch the the DC power uh, inlet uh, circuit as well so I'm trying to plug in uh, I have to press the F10 so that I can go to the bias setup of, of a compact ok so let me press the F10 until it, it gets to the bios setup um, there you go. So now the system is posting. Oh, and uh, one more thing, uh, I need to check if there's the video out going to the external monitor. Um, now I will connect the external monitor. the function F4 what's that function F4 there you go um, there you go okay so that's that's about it now that I know that the motherboard is posting, so it's time for me to finalize the, and put it in the chassis. You may also have the choice to do uh, sound testing, Wi-Fi connection, battery before you finalize everything.